In this video I want to talk about how to move around the UCS and start working in 3. So the first thing we need to do is go up here to workspaces and change that to the 3D basics. So all right, so now we're into the 3D workspace. Down here on the corner, this is our UCS icon. So right now we're in the world coordinate system or if you look over here at the cube, it says WCS, World Coordinate System. Um, and that's the, the normal X, Y, and then Z coming back at us that we normally work with. <clears throat> so once we start moving the UCS, now it becomes the, the User Coordinate System, or UCS. So there's a few ways we can do it. Um, we can come up here to Coordinates. You see the world. We can always get back to the world by clicking that. We can also rotate around axes. So we can rotate around the X, the Y, or the Z axis using our right-handed rule. We can also create, we can also move the UCS by three points, specifying the new origin, a new X and a Y position. We can go back to the previous, we can go to a view, we can go to a face, or we can go to an object. So let's say if I had just a line drawn, and I did a UCS for an object, and I put it here, or I go ahead and use OB, and I pick on that. Now you can see the UCS is turned so the x-axis is lined up with that line and the y-axis is perpendicular, and the z is still coming back at us. If I go back to the world, now I'm back to, to the standard um, UCS. <clears throat> so that's for 2D, um, and we'll do more of that in drafting 25, moving the, the UCS, just rotating it around the z and by using object. Um, once we go to 3D though, so let me get the little house thing here. So now we're in 3D view. You can see we're still in the 2D wireframe mode um, for how it's going to draw things on the screen. Let's say, I'm just going to create a box real quick. So now I have a 3D box here. And if I want to draw on a face, all of my normal drawing commands only work on the XY axis. So if I pick a line, it's going to draw on the XY. Or if I pick a circle, you can see things have kind of moved around a little bit. It's going to draw on the XY plane here. So if I want to draw on the side plane, there's a few ways to do it. Um, first, we're going to start off by this button here. We're going to turn off the dynamic UCS. So that way we have full control quote, full control <clears throat> over what happens with the UCS. So if I want to draw on this side plane here, if I just move here and draw, it's going to draw there, but that's not really on that plane. That's ah, it's down there on the bottom plane. You see that I grab the cube, I can drag it to see different angles. So if I want to draw on that side, what I'm going to need to do is move my UCS. So I could do it a couple ways. I could do UCS, and then rotate around the x-axis by 90 degrees. So now that's going that way. And then I can do UCS, and move the origin right yeah. They've changed this a little bit. Origin right there. And so now I'm on that. I could also have gone to that by going to the three point, so placing the origin telling it the X and telling it the Y. A new tool that I've added in, um, in the, one of the latest, later releases, if you click on the UCS, now you can just pick on the, the point and bring it over. <clears throat> and then now I can move like the Y, bring it so it's up. So I can kind of grab the points here and rotate around also. And you can see that they're staying, as I rotate it, they're staying together just like using the right hand rule. So I can do it that way also to move the UCS around. So now when I draw a circle, it's going to draw it uh, and it kind of messes up how you use this. But now it's on that side plane. <clears throat> so that's how I can kind of use my UCS to move around and line things up. Um, with that. So I can do, use the rotating around an axis, I can use the three point, or I can just click on the UCS 
icon and move it around. You'll also notice that as I'm moving this around, I get a blue O snap. The blue O snaps are the 3D object snaps. And so if I look at those, I have ones like vertex, midpoint, and so those are the same as the 2D ones pretty much. They have one another one that's the center of the face that isn't really, doesn't come up very well, but if I shift right click, go to the 3DO snap, center face, now you can see as I go over a face, I can snap to the center of that face, kind of by the area. So that is how to use the, the UCS to move around in 3D.